Satya Nadella, the, the CEO of Microsoft, he says that Microsoft is not looking for know it all. Microsoft is looking for people who can learn it all. Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics that can help you grow in the software industry. So if you want to grow really, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel now and press the bell icon so that you will know when I go live on this channel. Mayank Dikshet. Uh, hi Mayank. So sir, full stack developer or Salesforce data analyst, which has a better future? See Mayank, uh, it is very difficult to say whether the future is good in full stack development or sales for or a data analyst. Okay. Because it is not in these titles. Okay. These titles have no meaning. The knowledge of these things have no meaning. It is the work you do within each of these things. If you're really good full stack developer, then you will do really well in full stack development because there's a huge requirement for full stack developers. Okay. Every startup company needs full stack developer. Okay. And how many startups come up every day, every day, there are thousands of people who are trying to put up a startup. Every day, there are hundreds and thousands of people who are trying to build some kind of a software startup. They have an idea. They're looking for software engineers. They're looking for full stack developers. Okay. So there is a huge requirement for full stack developer. Equally huge is the requirement for uh, Salesforce because Salesforce is a CRM. Okay. CRM industry is very huge. It's a billion dollar industry. Okay. There are so many players within the CRM industry and Salesforce is the leading player in that particular industry. Okay. But it depends whether you are a really good full stack developer or whether you are a really good Salesforce engineers. Okay. Always remember that how you do one thing, you are going to do all the things. So you become a master in the thing that you like. Do you like data analysis? Do you like Salesforce? Do you like full stack development? What do you really like? If you don't know any of these, then find some friends who, have, who are working in this field and ask them to give, give you a demo of what they are working on. What is the kind of work that they are doing? Ask them if they, if you can observe them and see them working on their craft. Okay. So the whole point is that any of these field can make you a, a, a really good uh, engineer. Any of this field can give you a better future. Don't look at your future as a destination. You're not on a destination because destination is retirement. Okay. In the end, after 40 years, you are going to retire. So you cannot focus on destination, focus on the journey. Okay. Let, let me do full stack development and let me start building applications. Let me build really cool applications and the way you build these cool applications and the number of applications on your resume will say how well you're doing as a full stack developer. One full stack developer will get, let's say five lakh per annum salary. Another full stack developer will get 10 lakhs per annum salary with the same experience because the 10 lakh per annum full stack developer has done really better projects and he's done really better job. Okay. So all your progress and your future is dependent on how you work on your day to day basis. It is not dependent on what you know. Satya Nadella, the, the CEO of Microsoft, he says that Microsoft is not looking for know it all. Microsoft is looking for people who can learn it all. There is a difference between know it all. Nobody's, nobody's expecting you to know everything. Nobody's expecting you to know, uh, you, you may know full stack development. You may be able to build a small application using full stack development and you can start in a company and then you can hone your skill. You can learn more things when actually you are doing the practical of building a particular project and you can become better in that. 
correct so that way you become better okay you don't be a know it all it's not like you keep on learning all these different technologies if you know 100 technologies it is not going to help you my entire career was built on just one technology visual basic uh, one programming language visual basic programming language everything i did for almost 15 years was all visual basic programming language and then i built one application using c sharp that's it my entire career was on visual basic programming but in that i was able to build 60 plus software applications okay and every application that i built the client was really happy with the way i built that application because it helped them it helped them in their business okay so if your application helps somebody in their business then your future is good your future is depending on every day what you are doing in your software development work okay so i hope that answers your question uh, mayank uh, it is not about full stack developer or salesforce or data analyst it is about having one of these skills and being really good in this one skill specialization become a specialist become a expert in one of these skill so expert that people will come back to you uh, i i met a 65 year old software engineer and he was a programmer on small talk small talk is a programming language which is not even used nowadays but he was a programmer and this company bought a product which was built upon small talk so they had to hire this engineer as a consultant because there was nobody available for small talk but he was an expert okay when he was called he knew everything about that programming language and about the product he was supporting the product name is holocentric okay he was supporting this product holocentric and it was built upon small talk and he was a small talk software engineer a 65 year old software engineer and he was paid very highly okay because there was no other engineer there is no competition for him that is the whole point okay so uh, make yourself such that there is no competition for you if you have not yet subscribed to this channel then subscribe because on this channel i share ideas insight tools and tactics that will help you grow so subscribe now and press the bell icon also share this channel with all of your friends i do this live every thursday thank you very much see you in the next live